What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Fitted and I'm here at Mayo Academy here in New York City. And today I challenge a Cali champion to a stick fight. This is Dr. Chris. He's gonna be teaching me a few techniques with a stick and then we're gonna spar. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. A lot of FMA strikes like to do what we call an albedo. So we're gonna play off of that. So it's an albedo strike, straight down. Good. One, two. Did it has a high pitch sound. That first step is called the with dick, which is with dick. So if you're standing right here, which is how we do it, the first step is the with dick, with dick is which is our jab basically. So on top of that, so a little more on like you're hitting right, all, right. The way, all the way. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so you you going a little more to the side, you yeah. go a little more on top. Thick, huh? and it comes to the side, ah. and you come right down. Good. So a little more. Nah, here you go. You dick on top of the head? No. Sorry. You dick on top of the head? With dick. Whack, whack. Yes. That's it. That's it. The next one that I'm going to show you is called an X pattern. So we put them together. Get to the body. Kick to the top of the head, kick to the top of the head, and backhand too. So it's one, two, three. So think of an X. That's it. Are you up for learning a little double stick combination? Absolutely. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four. So the top head. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's it. You got it. Hey, coach, you can you can change it up. This is not always in the head. It could be head, body, body, head. Some basic blocking techniques we do, this is called an umbrella block, some FMA stars also call it uh, a roof block, and it's basically literally just a block of the head. And just like a Dutch drill in kickboxing, it is a counter counter type of drill. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now we add a little bit of perm stepping or side stepping with it too, so we side step, and we can also go, so if I hit first, he goes back, and he goes forward, I go back, forward and back. The experienced boys are going to show me how it's done. Okay, go back once. historical shows like Vikings <laughs> and Barbarians and Troy. I feel like I'm going to war. It feels good. Oh my God. Yeah. So it's like a, yeah. That, so we, that's how we like just get to get used to it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yes, so, because once it starts, it, it you know, it won't stop. We do this to each other just so that So I'm going to try my best to break down this stick fight even though I have zero knowledge in the sport. Dr. Chris moves forward with a barrage of attacks and because I was overwhelmed as I never had such fast sticks attack me, I turned away and shelled up. And don't try to check a stick because that hurts way more than checking a low kick. I forgot everything I learned earlier and just wanted to shell. So coach, those combos we did. Then coach Sergio reminded me to do some of the things I practiced. Then bam, I blocked a stick attack for my first time and landed my own headshot. Here, I slapped his stick down and into my wadik. 
which is what they call a jab to the head. Then I unintentionally block Dr. Chris's attack. Then he follows up with a rib shot. Then a quick and accurate shot to my fingers, which made me want to let go and drop my weapon. Dr. Chris blocks my 12 to 6 attack here, comes back with his own 12 to 6 headshot, but I accidentally blocked with my arm. That hurt, so don't ever block with your arms. Then a big blow to the right side of my rib. Dr. Chris blocks another one of my 12 to 6 attacks here and counters with a left rib shot, comes around to my right side temple, hits my arm, then to my right side rib, followed by several other attacks. And I turned away out of fear. Okay? Yeah. I'm okay, I'm just here. Yeah. The scariest thing I've ever done. Like, I know that it can't hurt me, but I'm still scared. Dr. Chris hits me with a 20 strike combination again, and as he backed away to give me room to breathe, I caught him off guard with two strikes to the head. In and out, Jeff. In and out. Here, Dr. Chris jumps up into the air and comes down with a 12 to 6 strike. I block, then he follows up with a big blow to the body. Then I got him back with a headshot and unintentionally blocked his counter shot. And Dr. Chris gives me a good beating here. So now we do some rounds with two sticks in our hands. The first exchange here was way too fast. I didn't see anything coming and got sliced in and right out, up. In and out. In and out. Too much sticks to handle. I turned away again. Dr. Chris reminds me to never turn my back. Careful, get your back on me. Here, I pretty much just backed away using footwork and ran. Check out this stick version long guard here. And those only one minute round. Oh, I'm drenched inside too. <laughs> drenched not from hard work, but just from fear. Now Dr. Chris takes off his gear, so gear versus no gear. Dr. Chris overwhelms me with his stick again, and I end up trying to tie up with him, and he somehow disarms my weapon. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Chris jumps into the air again into a 12 to 6 attack, and I accidentally blocked with my arm and fell. Somehow, I landed a lucky three strike combination to the head, the flick, the right side of the head, followed by a left side of the head. I think at this point, I was starting to get more comfortable attacking. And here, Dr. Chris whacks me on the elbow. I was wearing an elbow pad, but it slipped down, so a stick actually hit my elbow. You can see me wincing in pain here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank Dr. Chris, Sergio, Rich, Joe, Logan, and Sensei Sony Mayo for having me at their gym and teaching me. If you guys are in the New York City area, definitely go visit Mayo Gym for Cali, kickboxing, MMA, and BJJ. Oh, yeah, here I was extremely surprised at myself because it was the first block where I actually saw it coming and intended to block it.